Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I thought I'd show you the App Store on the new Apple TV. Quite a few of you are, have requested this, and I thought I'd show this to you, and then we'll do a further in-depth look later on when I do the full review. But here's the App Store, and I can just move around using the remote up and down. You can see I have a few apps installed right now. I have Netflix and Apple uh, on Apple TV, Watch, ABC, NBC, Show, Anytime, Showtime, those things you can see, Jetpack, Joyride, and Geometry Wars for games. Now if I scroll up here and go to the App Store, I just click and go into the App Store. Now you can see I'm on Purchased at the top. I'll go over to Featured and you'll see the App Store itself. Here are kind of the, the latest things. This is really similar to an iPhone or pretty much any Apple product. It looks familiar. Scroll to the right you can see some different applications. Now there's quite a few apps, and I was surprised how many there were. I thought there'd be a lot less than there actually is. So if I just keep scrolling, you can find your favorite video apps. Uh, unfortunately, you can't use Siri to search for the apps, or at least I haven't been able to do that. Let me show you that real quickly. Find Netflix in the App Store. And it can't do that. So I've tried that a couple different ways and it doesn't seem to work. If I go down here, what they have is what to watch, and we can scroll right to left or left to right, wherever we're at. And there's quite a few apps that they're suggesting as far as what to watch. So HBO Now, Netflix, Hulu, pretty much the usuals that you're familiar with. Scroll down, and now we have what to play, so we can scroll over. And if I stop on any one of these, I can just move them around like this. And one of the nice things that they've done is actually if you've purchased the app on your iPhone, it's actually free so far that I've found on the Apple TV. And I'll show you that in just a moment. So I'll scroll over here, we'll scroll down, and you can see these are best new apps. So there's a bunch of new apps also. Kids and family. They just categorize them this way. We'll scroll down to gorgeous games, and you can see quite a few different games. And Geometry Wars 3 I actually own for the iPad and iPhone. So if you go into this, you'll see that it actually is purchased. And I've already downloaded it, but it just has the little cloud there. So I'll show you one that I haven't installed. Let's go up and see something I haven't installed on this Apple TV yet. So Hulu, I've installed before. And wait for this, and you'll see there's the little cloud install button, just like you get if you've already purchased something on an iPhone. So we'll scroll down and you can see below gorgeous games we have sports suggestions. We have start your engines, so racing games. More games to explore. So they're really pu pushing the games and hopefully we'll see some more impressive games now that we can use controllers with it and things like that. But right now it's, it's basically uh, just remakes of the games you have on your iPhones and iPads. And if we scroll up here, let's go into the suggested ones, the new, the new apps. Even though this is pretty new, here we have Find Your Favorite Video App. So we'll go into that. And again, we're going to see a lot of the same apps, like I said, because this is so new. Hopefully we'll start to see something different later on. So we'll just scroll down and more to explore. So this is basically the App Store all laid out. Quite a few different apps, a lot more than was on the previous Apple TV. See again, we have some more apps here. And I didn't want to go real slow through each one of them, but you can get the idea with that. And then we can also search for our app. So if we go up to the top here, we can go to purchased, which we've already purchased, or we can go to search. And you can see I already did a search for Vivo and it shows up. But if we want to search for something else, we can just backspace. This is a little bit painful to do with the, the little remote here, but uh, let's search for something with O and see what we find. So there's Ocean Horn, and we can narrow it down and it searches in real time. So if we do O-C-E-A, you can see it starts to narrow things down. So it's really nice and uh, seems to work pretty well. And it's, it's nice it's searching within everything as well. Now if we go to Purchased, you'll see I have all my purchased apps. And up here at the top, we have, we'll go back. Up here at the top, we have recent purchases. Now, some of these 
are actually found on the iPad. So my daughter's probably playing this one right here and downloaded it on an iPad or an iPhone and it carries over and says, oh, this is a recently downloaded app and here you go. So these are pretty recent and you can use all these as well. Now, if you wanted to download an app, you just go into the app and hit install and it installs. Now you may need your password and that can be kind of a pain on the remote, but once you enter it, you can choose not to re-enter it. It's up to you in the settings. So that's pretty much it for the App Store. Uh, it's basically what you'd expect. Hopefully the search is a little bit better than, than on the iPhone side, but we've got all these nice apps we can go into now. Uh, before we go, though, let me show you Geometry Wars. I'll just load it and show you that I loaded it before, and it kind of stays in the background, just like it would on an iPhone. So it's got multitasking in that sense that it's still running. It took a minute to load at first, and then you can play it. So if I go into adventure mode here, you can go into the game and you can see everything's nice and smooth. So we'll just go into it quick to show you its speed. I won't play it here, but I just wanted to show you the speed of it. And we can we can control this and move around. So it's nice and quick. We can go out of it, go back to the menu, end the game here, and get back to the menu itself. If we just hold the menu button and it brings us right back without ending. If we want to go back into it, we're right back where we left off. So it's really nice and very fast. It's much, much better than previous versions. But that's pretty much it for the App Store. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If there's things you haven't been able to find regarding the Apple TV, uh, let me know before I do the review so I can share that with you as well. If you have any other questions, let me know there as well. If you haven't subscribed or commented, please do that If you and, and like the video if you like the video. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.